YouTube. Troy Stars, Troy Stars, trucking. Thanks for tuning in. So in this video, we are going to pick up a load and we are going to New Brunswick. For more videos like this, please subscribe. St. John's New Brunswick. It's gonna be a type of night run, basically. So it's not much footage I can basically show on this, but it's gonna go, go show you guys maybe those locations and um, maybe coming back, I will show some road footage because you know, there's nothing much to see in night footage. So I'm basically coming, uh, came out to my truck to get it start because it's minus 16. So we're gonna do a cold startup basically. Pre-trip in your truck and make sure your truck is ready for the winter right in terms of servicing you know doing servicing on your truck and stuff like that for the winter so i uh, already talked to you guys about that to get it um done right so in this video basically we're gonna check the oil that's what we're gonna do we're gonna check the oil and we're gonna make sure our oil level is right then we're going to i'm gonna show you guys how I start my truck and how do I um, let my truck warm up before I actually drive off because you know the truck is extremely cold now as I said it's minus 16 so um, you, you can't just start the truck and just drive if it, yeah you can start the truck and drive but you have to drive very slow right until the truck warm up to you know then you can drive more f um, with more speed but normally when you start your truck in the cold time um, you have to let your truck warm up a bit, but if you plan on driving Which when driving the truck warm up even quicker, right? But yeah, you'd have to drive at that speed. You cannot speed up. You cannot Go down too much on the gas down too much on the shadow. You have to just take your time and move, you know, like Five ten You know up to 20 like Kilometer per hour, right? and then that will be good for the truck and about warming up the engine really quick and not sitting down and adding the truck but if you plan on, on, on adding your truck as in making your truck warm up for where you can satisfy i'm going to show you how i did that well it's not nothing great it's just putting the truck to a thousand rpm or, or it will be 10 on the rpm this is where the RPM needle is, RPM, right? So you put it right there, you 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 press it go all the way up to 10 and you let it stay there for like maybe um two or three well when it, when it, uh, when when you're pressing the e, the pre-trip on your e-log and stuff like that after you check your oil and look around the engine and stuff like that, then you can go ahead and warm up your truck, your engine until you feel like about two or three minutes and then you're good to go so we're gonna go outside we're gonna look through over the engine see if everything is okay i just park here for a minute not, this is not my regular parking area but where i was going to park was very it was full of snow and it didn't clean and i didn't want to go in there and stuck so i just came around where i park only when i'm not for a long period of the spark here just for a short like you know i'm gonna move soon yeah that's when i just come and jack up right here and then <laughs> time to go but anyway thanks for tuning in guys i know it's a boy troy stars trucking and if you're new here consider subscribing and all my old time are my real time are my good subscribers that is there for the start for the beginning thank you so much for still being here and also i have my uh, li uh live I'm gonna start doing some live coming out soon we're gonna do some call in live so we can do a phone conversation so i'm gonna release a number soon so you guys can call me on whatsapp and we can have a good conversation over the phone so that we you know we can we we we, we can reason other people can hear our conversations and we can other people can put the, the their thought in right and we're gonna we're gonna have a good time on our live so look out for it it's coming up you will see it on my story so you save the number put it in there put it in your, in your whatsapp and then you can phone me up on the whatsapp in the live when, when i'm doing a live session and then we can we can take it from there you know you know you, you know how we do it right so i'm just giving you guys the update details and um yeah so yeah thanks for tuning in this is boy troy size trucking
This is inside the engine. And like I said, it's extremely cold. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna look around, make sure there is no leaking. You know what I mean? Make sure everything is in intact. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, you know, and uh, gonna check my oil. As you guys know already, I use arms oil. You know what I mean? Uh, you can see where the oil is on the, on the dipstick right there. I'm gonna wipe it off and check it again to make sure it, it's at the right spot and is not burning oil and stuff like that, which is not, I'm just saying. Um, another subscriber linked me up the other day. He just bought his Volvo truck and he asked me what type of filter he should use with the, with the arms oil, right? And I told him, just use the regular filter that he, that the, the Volvo come with they use the original filter right on the truck you don't need to you, know, you don't need to you don't have to get the, the arms oil filter you know what I mean you want to use the filter that you're, you're, you don't want to use on your truck it's about the oil really um, even though the filters do a, do, a, do, do a big hold on I think I need some more coolant don't, don't you guys think the coolant is right in between uh, maximum and minimum it's 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 right there i think i need i know normally when you start a truck and stuff like that the, 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 the pressure will put the the coolant up back right but it's it's too close for comfort don't you guys think i'm not sure i'm just saying uh my my, my ears are frozen at this point so it's a, it's a lot of snow been falling over the weekend so uh the park like i said to you guys the parking spot that I normally use was, wasn't was clean and I didn't want to go in there and stop because that's another money, right? So I'm just checking my wheels, my tires on the truck and trailer to make sure it's it's good, right? Um, I don't even know if I, can, if I can get out. You see, how is it? I don't even know if I can get out of this spot, but yeah um yeah so like i told you guys the guy uh linked me up and let me know what asked me about the filter what filter you should use and I, I told him you can use the original uh filter from the volvo dealer right and stuff like that and another person asked me about um how is it to get you was telling me that the arms oil is a little bit uh expensive and i said yes yes it is it is a little expensive but when you look on how long you can keep the arms oil in your truck it worth it because you would definitely when you use the other oil you'd have to change way way long before using before the arms oil ready to be changed so it's you, you know you can look at it two ways and then again we're talking about the protection of your engine we're talking about um it, you're gonna service your truck let's say every four months when you use arms oil right and yes the oil is gonna be like about 300 and something dollars right uh canadian and if you're looking at the change and something can get in dollars for your truck for three months, which you're gonna get, you're gonna make more, you're gonna make so much money for that three months. With okay, what I'm trying to say is, why you want to cheap out on your oil when which the truck is bringing you so much? Like you don't want to give back anything to the truck. Come on, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm gonna start my truck up, and oh, I normally start my truck. I turn the key. Well, everyone know the turn the key, but yeah, I turn the key and I, and I wait on something on the dash to get off, which is this. Um, when the engine do it, check on everything, this is gonna still be there because it's gonna, the battery is gonna warm. This is what warm. So when, as soon as this come off, then you can turn the key. But if it don't come off, just wait, wait on it until everything warm up. Okay, so you get off now. So I'm gonna just start. That is like, well, I, I have low um, oil, not oil, low hair, all the hair is out. 
so that's that's for the noise but it truck is showing minus 12 which outside is really minus 16 so maybe i don't know um so yeah so so if you can look at the needle for the oil it's at it's going to the pressure is going up to 80 because the oil is the oil is thick right so normally i would i would let it chuckle chuckle like this for a minute and then after a minute then i would just um rise up the, the rpm so that the oil can get to reach up to the to top of the engine and get to warm the truck up for a minute and then we can go so as you already know you press down one and then you press up and if you look at the rpm needle you see it moving that 800 that 850 and we're taking it to, to 10 okay so that's where we're gonna keep it for at least 10 minutes and let it warm up there and then we are good to go so that's what we're doing i'm extremely cold oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. my hands are freezing my ears mm -mm. anyway guys thanks for tuning in you know it's a boy try to trucking and you know this is just me starting my truck getting ready for the road and i'm gonna show you guys more footage in the in the in the what's going on out here so yeah Choice stars and yeah and also we're gonna talk about my led light led light that i install in the truck um there are some lights that was out my roof light and stuff like that i installed some in cab led light i'm gonna show you guys the, the light that i that i install and also i'm gonna leave the link for those bulbs down in the description it's very cheap so you can in um put in some new led lights inside your truck you know it's 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 uh battery sufficient so it it, it don't draw too much current and it's just LED lights for inside the cab. That's it. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Troy Stars Trucking. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. When you talk about. Oh, oh, okay. I get to my destination here in St. John's, New Brunswick. Right? That's next door to Nova Scotia and in the. And, and next door to Montreal. So in between Montreal and Nova Scotia so I'm in uh, I'm in the middle and uh, Newfoundland is over on the south whatever anyway uh came to my delivery my delivery was at six o'clock in the morning and it is extremely cold you see I'm walking outside but it's extremely cold but uh, I just loving this view here so I'm just gonna show you guys the view that I can see from the delivery that I'm at I can see down like a housing scheme and yeah it's just a few peeps I just wanted to show you guys uh, I know other people good I'm um, goodly saying this guy is so crazy because outside it's extremely cold hold on yeah yeah I'm just enjoying my time right but anyway guys Thanks for tuning in as a boy Troy Sorry trucking. I'm gonna find myself to a truck stop now because I drive all night last night. You know night driving is my thing, right? So I drive all night last night. I'm gonna get some rest and then I'm gonna get up. Okay, then I'm gonna talk to you guys. You know how we do it. But I just wanna show you guys. Um I get to my destination on time. This is uh now is 7 a.m. in the morning. If you can see at the top of and if you can see Anyway, yeah, it's 7 a.m. in the morning. 7.30. Yeah, and I finished delivery. I get here by from 6. So, I'm going to uh, the nearest truck stop. is 7 miles away. So, I'm going there. Get some rest. You know. Rejuvenate my body, you know. Relax, you know. And then, ready for the journey again. So, as I said, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, it's a boy. You know what I mean? YouTube Troy Stars Troy Stars Trucking Thank you guys for tuning in And I'm still on the journey From New Brunswick Going To 
Montreal, right? And I, I you know I told you guys um, I was gonna drive through the night, so I drove through the night. I stopped in the early morning. Now I get up back again to continue on the journey. So this is how we do it typically. We eat normally based on your preference or you want to drive um some people don't like to drive at night me myself i don't really have a problem with driving at night i find myself driving at night is comfortable driving at night um make you relax you know what i mean uh the only thing you have to look out for driving at night is weather conditions and animals you know like deers and moose and stuff like that you know what i mean but other than that there are some really good drivers that really drive at night you can tell by choosing to drive at night you know well some drivers is optional and what well, is it optional is like some drivers find themselves in a situation so they have to drive at night like maybe they, 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 got, they got a blow a tire truck break down get the load late uh start working late whatever and it does eventually start driving at night some drivers you can't tell them anything about night driving that's not their thing don't even try it don't even mention it no way no shape no form nothing no night driving as for me i find night driving more relaxed more comfortable i prepared myself for it meaning i sleep throughout the day and I choose to drive at night and when I start driving it's like just me the road couple other well experienced driver like myself just want to relax and go down the street with a whole, not a whole bunch of looking cars there's cars that cars there's cars that because trust me it's a whole lot of driving when well sorry sorry it's a whole lot of work when driving not only at night well it's less work driving at night but it's a whole lot of work driving within your minds, your, your highs, what you're thinking. That's why it's always good to leave home with a positive, on a positive, on a positive note, you know, with a positive vibes. Like, for example, leaving home, kissing your wife, you know, give her a big hug, hugging the kids, saying bye, leaving out happy. You know what I mean? That's the spirit. Don't be arguing and leaving the house. If you if you're gonna argue or whatever, try to fix it before you get up because you're going out there with that on your mind and it kind of not turn off not turn off the driving spirit, but it kind of puts giving you more thing to think about, more thoughts on your mind. That's why it's not good to argue even over the phone. It, it changes your whole concept. Even my suggest suggestion, if you if you get into a fight over the phone with your, you know, it's. It's typical. It's truck. It's driving. It's away from family. It's gonna. Uh, you're gonna have your little problems. You're gonna have your little ups and down with the, with, the, with the, we, we can't ignore that. You, you, you go, it's it's going to happen, right? It's how you fix it and how you deal with it. It's not this cherry pineapple sweet. You know, don't let no one trick you. You're gonna have those type of things. But it's how you, you know, deal with it. How you get. You know what I mean? It's just, that's why it's always good to can hook up with a flower shop near to your house they could call and send the flowers to your to your home you know what i mean like there's a little roses with two not nothing expensive maybe a little 50 dollars something with a little gift card right let the person knock on the door give it to your your wife you know what i mean and if you're a lady trucker maybe you can no 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 mm -mm. can't send a roses to no man sorry um sorry but like a watch, ladies, like, you know what, let's talk about um, us for a minute. We just talk about ladies, you know, setting the roses and stuff like that. Today. Now, as a trucker, as a man, male trucker, we like to feel so appreciative, or appreciative when we complete our daily routine not even daily but when we get home to our, our lives we wonder when we come in the house is clean the atmosphere is over warm welcoming the smiles the the kisses at the door the rub the feet take the socks up or, 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 or for the kids for the kids for the kids 
when dad get in and sit in the ch on the chair or whatnot, take his, his his socks off. You know what I mean? Help him to take that first jacket off, or you know, get him ask him what he want to drink. Go for a beer in the fridge. Read him as, uh, 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 your, your homework. Um, that's for the kids. Wives, as your husband come to the door, greet him. Even if you, you weren't having a, a good day because you talked to your friend and your friend telling you about her relationship that didn't went well and you're so upset because you're wondering if your husband would be the same thing. Do, 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 do. When your man step into this door, go there, hug him. Squeeze him. Thank him for getting in, for, for being that person out there that didn't, you know, cause any, any eruptions or accident or anything, out, out, you know, so to speak, out there on the road. He getting safe. He did his job. He come home to you. Greet him with that. Make sure you warm it. Sometimes, 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 most drivers do not tell when they, they are coming in because of how the work set up and uh, from outside looking in by myself I, I can understand because sometimes dispatchers will turn you around sometimes you think you're coming in and you, you tell your wife and kids and they're all excited you know girlfriend whatever etc you know what I mean all excited and then you only get a call oh we have this rush load for you can you and you have to turn back you don't you didn't even get to go in so I know I understand why most drivers don't really tell you know that uh, honey i'm coming in or babe look after something for me i'm in because they don't have that leverage but as an own operator sometimes we cut it off we you know do it to our best of our ability and uh, make sure when we say we're coming in we're coming in so what i'm saying i'm saying cook him a nice meal you know what i mean rub his feet after the kids take the, the, the socks off Playing is, is is here, you know. Make sure you know. You, I'm 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 stepping it up a notch. Give him a nice bath, a shower. <laughs> I'm just I don't know I don't know I don't, I'm just saying that. But anyway, you know. Um, talk about oh, you miss him when he was out there, and I mean you know I mean also let him feel that what he's doing is. You are you're you're all in, you're a part of it. Not when are you gonna change job? I don't can take you to you know what I mean? Because it's not gonna last forever. I mean, but you know, I know some drivers really have this as a lifetime spawn career, but you can't really do that with a family. You, you just you just need to put your time in and time out. It's just it's just what you do when you're in it is 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 everything here, you know? It's what you get from it, it's what you try to accomplish, it's what you put together so that later down you can relax you know what i mean it's what you do throughout the time if you start late i know you're gonna finish late if you start early all depend on your life and how you, you plan and set up things you can finish semi early you know what i mean but i just want to say this so gifts why wives, wives what would you what would i say you should give to if you've never done it before what should you give your husband as a gift as a truck driver the best gift would be a watch. Believe it or not, you're gonna be like, oh, watch, Troy, my husband, you already buy like seven watch, but you didn't buy him one. That's the difference. Yeah, he had seven watch, but he's, he's the one that went out there and buy. You, on the other hand, can go ahead and purchase him a nice watch. Nice watch. You know what I mean? There's a lot more thing you can get him, yeah? But I know for sure the watch is one of those things that most men like. Some of the guy won't wear a watch if it's not certain brands or whatnot, but it's not every one of us, or it's not every man is like that. Some man will buy what they really want because they know you cannot afford it, but you buy what you can afford, something nice, something that you would like to see on his risk, something that you do your research on, something that, you know what I mean, he would appreciate. You know what I mean? And give it to him. And you know what I mean? I know most of you don't even take the time out to, you know, spend on your on your on your husband or on your man, you know what I mean? To make sure they are, you know, 
whatever. You know what I mean? Evil, evil closes. You know, winter is coming up. Um, one of even the best gift for, from winter, if your man is a truck driver and he's going out there in winter, if you do not already, you can get him one of those Walmart jackets, those black and with a reflector on it. The, the black, when I said that one is like Jamaica, when you put it on, it's so hot. I can tell you, I can't even see it now, but I have one. Um, it's it it work. They sell they sell it in 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 other stores as well. But it's a thick black reflector jacket for the winter. Trust me, that jacket is the jacket to have. You, that's the jacket to have for the winter. I can tell you, you will you will keep warm. Now, what what else I want to say? Um, yeah, like you can get some nice jaggers pants you know what i mean throw those warm pants you know what i mean clothes you know in a, in a, you know you know what i mean get rid of some of the old clothes that he already have you know what i mean go out there buy you know not, not go out you can go online get some cheap you don't have to be expensive because it's for work so you can get it in the clearance section on the on wherever you buy it online whatever very cheap no but it have to be like something cozy that you can wear for work and you 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 get rid of some of the ones that you have there for here is you know what i mean you keep washing them whatever you change them you know what i mean and said so only i get you some of these and what just ladies step your game up anyway i just want to rant on that for a minute um um i mean uh, i heard someone mention it and i chose to talk about it but anyway um ah uh, so we're gonna take on our journey and finish and complete our, our 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 task and i'm gonna uh break down a lot more in in a sense where i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm doing and how is it working out for me so far and i have a couple more questions that, that i want to answer for some of my subscribers and tune please uh stay tuned tune in i'm gonna do an, another video right after this I'm not gonna, gonna put it in this about some question that been asked on my community uh on my uh channel and i'm just gonna answer them freely so you know you know how i always do it i want to say thank you guys for tuning in you know, as a boy trust i struck it if you're not subscribed already please do so please leave me your comment it's always a good thing to see what you guys are thinking what is on your mind and how we can fix our current situation that we're problems and stuff like that we're having comment in the comment section and let me let's let's talk about it Thanks for joining. Try stars. Chuck it. Peace. For more videos like this, please subscribe.